now President Obama, the individual Donald Trump is trying to replace, has weighed in on the recent terror, terror attacks. Let's take a listen to that. Today, uh, this morning, I talked about the fact that there was a person of interest uh, that the FBI and law enforcement had identified uh, with respect to the uh, the bombs that had been planted uh, in the New York and New Jersey area. Uh, as everybody is now aware, uh, that individual has been apprehended, and uh, I just want to start by. Uh, commenting on uh, the extraordinary work and coordination that's taken place between the FBI uh, and local law enforcement uh, for us to be able to up apprehend a suspect uh, in just a little over 24 hours after an event takes place like this. Uh, it is outstanding police work, outstanding law enforcement work. Uh, I, in particular, want to uh, give uh, a heartfelt thanks to the New Jersey police officers uh, who were able to apprehend this individual. I had a chance to talk to them uh, briefly before I came down uh, to my meetings here. Uh, they are going to be fine. Uh, they've sustained uh, some uh, modest injuries, uh, but ones for, that they'll rapidly recover from. They were in good spirits, uh, and I communicated to them uh, how appreciative the American people were, as well as people in the region. It's just one more reminder of uh, the extraordinary skill and sacrifice and courage uh, of our law enforcement officers and uh, what they put on the line every single day to make sure that we are safe. Uh, beyond that, uh, obviously information is still unfolding about uh, what might have motivated the suspect. Uh, I'm going to leave it up to the FBI and local law enforcement authorities to discuss those details with you. Uh, I will also comment on the fact that in, uh, with respect to the Minnesota uh, stabbings that occurred, I had a chance to talk to the off-duty police officer there, uh, who undoubtedly saved a lot of lives and prevented further injury uh, because of his quick uh, and effective action. And uh, uh, I told him that, uh, uh, once again, the American people were appreciative of his work uh, and uh, his heroism. Now, you know, one of the challenges that we face uh, is, uh, in addition to being an open society in which uh, individuals, uh, you know, who are uh, disturbed in some fashion can carry out uh, violence against uh, the American people, uh, the big danger we have right now is, is that uh, we have an organization uh, in ISIL that is actively trying to radicalize and promote extremism of this sort. Uh, in addition, uh, they are directly carrying out uh, and planning uh, constant attacks, not only overseas, but uh, within Iraq and within Syria. And so it is uh, with uh, great appreciation that I welcome Prime Minister Abadi here, along with his delegation. Uh, thanks to the sacrifices of the Iraqi people, and the Iraqi Armed Forces. Uh, since I last met with him face-to-face -face a year ago, we have made significant progress in rolling back uh, ISIL. Uh, they have now lost over half of the populated territory that they had gained uh, and were still maintaining uh, as recently as last year. And what we've seen now is just steady progress as the Iraqi security forces have gained more confidence, as they have coordinated with uh, the 67-member uh, coalition uh, against ISIL. And now what we have been discussing and what we're focusing on is to go right at the heart of uh, the ISIL operations in Mosul. Now, this is going to be a challenging uh, battle. Uh, Mosul is a large city, and uh, ISIL has embedded itself deeply uh, within that city. But uh, because of the prepositioning of forces, uh, because of the cooperation between the coalition and uh, the Iraqi security forces, uh, because of the cooperation and courage of uh, the Kurdish Peshmerga, uh, we feel confident that uh, we will be in a position to move forward uh, fairly rapidly. Now, uh, it will be a tough fight. Uh, 
And once it in, is initiated, uh, one of the things that we discussed is the importance of not just driving ISIL out of Mosul, but making sure that the population there that invariably is going to be displaced and will have suffered and is going to be looking for uh, warmth and food and water and shelter, uh, that we are prepared to help provide rapid humanitarian assistance and that we can rebuild the city in a way that assures not only ISIL does not come back, but extremist ideologies born out of desperation do not return. Uh, and so a lot of our work today is going to, uh, has been focused on uh, making sure that that happens. Uh, I am very grateful that uh, Prime Minister Abadi has consistently operated in a way that uh, indicates his commitment to an inclusive Iraq uh, that treats everybody fairly, respects human rights, and uh, the work that we're doing uh, with uh, the Iraqi government uh, will adhere to those principles, not just in the <coughs> Mosul campaign, but beyond. Uh, but this is going to be hard. This is going to be challenging. It will require resources. We're going to be asking Congress to step up in support of this effort, and we're going to be asking other countries to step up in support of this effort. Uh, and uh, my thanks uh, go out not only to uh, the Iraqi uh, forces that have borne the brunt uh, of the progress that's been made inside of Iraq, as well as uh, the Kurdish Peshmerga, uh, but also, obviously, our outstanding men and women in uniform, uh, although they are not on the front lines of the fight and not, are not involved directly in combat, it's still a dangerous area to operate. And I think Prime Minister Abadi would be the first to say that uh, our men and women uh, from all branches of our armed forces uh, have operated with incredible effectiveness and courage in providing the training and the assistance uh, that uh, has allowed us to make these gains. Uh, so uh, hopefully uh, by the end of this year we will have seen further progress with respect to Mosul uh, and that we will continue to see further progress with respect to economic and political stabilization uh, inside of Iraq. Uh, Mr. Prime Minister, thank you for your good work uh, and thank you to all the members of your team uh, for the excellent work that they've done as well.